This is a very quick tutorial on how to run population analysis using the Death Star HUD in hand to note We're going to assume at this stage that you already have the Death Star HUD up and running. If not, there is an installation tutorial series that can help you get up and running with the Death Star HUD. The other thing that you will need in order to run decent population analysis is you will need a large database of hands. Now there are at least two ways you can get a large database. Method number one is simply to play a large amount of volume. Method number two is to think about purchasing some hand histories online or getting some mine hand histories from your friends. The more hands you have for this, the better. And for best results, you'll ideally have millions of hands played at a certain network. It can still be valuable to run the population analysis if you have 100,000 or 200,000 hands, it's definitely possible to detect certain trends in the environment with that level of data, but for best results you're going to go for an even bigger sample size of hands. Once a database has been imported, go to the options on the left, we go to the range research tab. Now note that in order to do this you will have to have an edge subscription. The edge subscription is essentially the most expensive subscription package for hand to note that allows you to play poker at all limits and it also unlocks some extra features one of which is range research or population analysis as we're calling it. Edge also comes with an additional feature known as decision analysis and decision analysis essentially shows us the profitability of taking certain lines with certain holdings. So not only can we see how frequently players take certain lines but we can also see how much money they're making when they do it. For the purposes of this tutorial, we're mostly interested in the range research feature. Now, when I was first doing this, I was under the impression that we had to build the reports manually. So, for example, if I click on this plus, I can create a new report. I'll call it new report. And then I can create a pop-up associated with this report. Or even just an individual stat. But let's say we wanted to create a pop-up. We go to create pop-up. And if you spend any time playing around with the pop-up editor, you'll recognize the screen because we can essentially build a pop-up for population analysis. We can put whichever stats we want to here and we can find population values for these stats. Now this would obviously take a long time. This is what I was doing at first. I was actually copying and pasting my Death Star HUD pop-ups into the create pop-up window here. Then I was running population analysis on every individual pop-up. You can see the results of that down the left hand side. I had one for 3-bet pots, one for donk betting. But then I realized it's possible to quickly run population analysis for every single pop-up without needing to do any configuration whatsoever. You can simply create a new report. Let's call it everything. And instead of choosing create pop-up, we simply click the build button. It's really that simple. So I click build. And given that I haven't added any pop-up into this custom report stats section here, it actually just starts creating a report based on the Death Star pop-ups. So what we end up with is something that looks like this. Now we're assuming that you've already pressed the build button. This will take a while, especially if you have a large database. So it's a good idea to click the build button, go and make a cup of coffee or something, then come back. Then if we look at the top, we can see there is a result tab. This is going to show us the report that's been generated by hand to note. If you've been using the Death Star HUD so far, this should look familiar. This is the fold to CBET imposition pop-up. And the values we're seeing right now are population specific averages. For example, when we see fold to flop CBET imposition in single raised pot is 44%. This is how often the average player folds to a CBET imposition in a single raised pot. So we can use this information to analyze the population we can find out where the population is folding too much, where the population is calling too much, what kind of ranges the population shows up with when they take various lines. And the idea behind this is that we can generate a strong default game plan that we can use against unknown opponents. Now, of course, this is just one of the tabs. You can also click on some of the other tabs. For example, let's go to the open raise tab. Here we can see open raise information for the population. And if we hover over some of the pop-ups, we can also get some heat maps that show it broken down. For example, this is what the population is open raising on the button. So we can see here in this example that light green 
means the population is opening very frequently, whereas the darker green colors mean the population is not opening so much with certain hands. For example, Tendu soft suit sometimes gets open raised, but not very much. So we won't go through all of the pop-ups right now. This is something that you can explore with the Death Star HUD. Just as a final note, if we go back to the report builder, you can see there's various options that we can use to refine our population analysis. For example, it's possible to break it down by the room that the hand was played on. It's possible to break it down by screen name, i.e. which database we're looking at. It's also possible to break down the analysis by who we're playing against. For example, imagine we wanted to run population analysis but we only wanted to analyze the tendencies of recreational players. So we have this drop down box here where we can select that we only want to analyze fish, we only want to analyze recs. And remember that one of the inbuilt features of hand to note is that it auto assigns certain players a colored tag based on whether it thinks they are a reg or a fish. And it's also possible for us to expand on that by creating new categories of colored tags we can then run analysis on all players that we have assigned that specific tag. Finally, we can break down our analysis based on certain stats. For example, imagine we wanted to run player pool analysis, but we only wanted to analyze nits. We could set the VPIP value here to 15. Therefore, when the report's generated, it's only going to use data taken from players who have a VPIP of less than 15. Of course, it could be problematic if we have players who have a VPIP of less than 15, but that's because they don't have a proper sample size of hands. Maybe they actually play looser than that in general, but they're card dead. So that's also why we can specify the number of hands, for example. We might want to only include players in the report who have more than 200 hands in the database. Now, once we've made any changes, it's necessary that we click the rebuild button again. Once again, we're going to have to wait for the new report to be built and that could take a while if there are quite a few hands in the database. So we can go away again, get another cup of coffee. When we come back, the new report will be in and it will be adjusted based on the parameters we've assigned. Now it's possible to assign some slightly more advanced parameters or definitions in terms of exactly what we want the report to show us. We can do that using this expression string. This expression string is essentially a line of code that gives additional information telling hand to note how exactly we'd like the population report to be run. And within that expression string, we can reference stats that we've created within hand to note. For example, if we have a 4-bet range stat that we've created in hand to note, we can then write an expression string that says only include players who have a 4-bet range below a certain frequency. So the possibilities are endless here. Any stat that we can create in hand to note, we can proceed to reference that stat in this expression string. So the possibilities here stretch far beyond simply being able to toggle values for VPIP and PFR. Any stat which we can create in hand to note, we can reference that. For example, if we wanted to know what type of 3-bet ranges players show up with if they have a 3-bet stat of 10% or more overall, we can easily write an expression string that tells hand to note to perform the range research with that specific parameter in mind. Now, of course, in order to use expression string, you have to understand the syntax, i.e. the language that hand to note understands. Now, you saw we followed the link. It takes us to this page on the hand to note website, and it's called expression syntax. It simply tells us some of the commands we can input into that expression string box in order to define which parameters we're interested in in terms of our range research. Now we won't talk about this now. The syntax will be discussed in another video because this is somewhat for advanced users. The goal of this video is simply to get you up and running with a basic comprehensive population analysis range research report. You don't need to know any of this stuff regarding syntax. If you just want to see the average values of the population, you've already learned how to do that in this video. If you want to run some advanced population analysis on specific types of opponents, you might benefit from being able to use the expression string here, and we'll talk about that in a later video. All right, thanks very much for watching, guys. Have fun with the range research feature, and remember, if you haven't picked up your copy of the Death Star just yet, you can get it at www.pokerweasel.com forward slash H2N. All right, good luck at the tables. This was Weasel for pokerweasel.com.